Alright, so, about a week or two ago, I decided that I wanted to start learning a programming language. So, after about two seconds of Google research, I learned that Python was a pretty easy language to learn. So, for the past week and a half or so, I've been learning Python alongside working on a game written in Python based off of the Oregon Trail. This video is just going to be showcasing that game. Uh, hope you enjoy! There it is. The Walmart version of the Oregon Trail. Welcome to Ben's Trail of Suffering and Kidney Failure. Before we prepare, what difficulty would we like to play on? Challenging and 2020 mode are pretty fast paced, so we are going to play on normal mode so we can properly showcase all the features of my game. What's your name? My name is Ben. Hello, Ben. Prepare to embark on a dangerous journey. You may choose to be blah, 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 blah. All right. So who will be our first comrade? None other than Miles Morales. And our second? Uh, how about Dwayne? No, 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 not Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I meant Rock the Dwayne Johnson. All right, Rock the Dwayne Johnson is the third and final member of the group, and now we can begin preparing supplies. The shop system is quite similar to the original Oregon Trail, from what I remember. You enter in a number of the certain category, and then you can purchase that value. I didn't actually look at the original Oregon Trail for making this game, just worked off of what I remembered. So yeah, type in the number of what you want to purchase, and then opens up a little sub-menu, and then enter the, the amount of units you'd like to purchase. For some other categories, like parts or medical supplies, it opens up another menu of the other items under that category. For example, we've got medicine and bandages under that. So yeah, this is probably going to take a while. All right, so I think we're ready. We have 325 pounds of food, 95 gallons of gasoline, and so on and so forth. Now, all these items have a purpose. For example, food and gasoline are needed for keeping us alive and making our car continue, because without gasoline, we're going to have to start pushing our car, and we do not want to push our car. Pushing your car is painful. Tires and car parts, those are for repairing the car if it gets damaged, which can happen in the game. Weapons are used in scenarios for, like, hunting animals or encountering other groups if you want to, like, raid them, or defending your own group from raids. Yeah, there's like a rating system, it's pretty interesting. Medicine and bandages, those are used for reducing the probability of someone dying from a disease or injury. It can also shorten the amount of time it takes for a disease or injury to have an outcome. Clothing and masks, those slightly reduce the probability of catching certain diseases or injuries by like a small bonus. And money, we can use that later in the game for some scenarios. A stack of dollars, wow. And uh, I think we're ready to begin. Ready to proceed? Oh, but what if we want to go back and check the shop? Too bad, we're starting anyway. Every single day, it'll show up this menu of how far we've traveled, the amount of food and fuel we've consumed, our rations and speed that we can modify, our, our status of our car, and the status of everyone else. And so far, me, Miles Morales, and Rock the Dwayne Johnson are looking nice and healthy. So we could either enter Y to continue or O for more options. So if we were to do O for more options, it shows us a command list. We can check supplies. It'll show us the list of our supplies. We can use bandages or medicine on people who are diseased or injured to do everything that I explained earlier. We can change the rations and speed. Now, changing the rations and speed, for example, changing rations, it reduces the amount of food you consume, but you have a higher chance of catching diseases. Speed is similar to that, but um, for injuries, I guess. You travel more, but have a higher chance of getting injuries. But you also consume more fuel per mile. You can also turn on rest mode. While you're in rest mode, um, no events can occur. So you'd normally do that when like someone has a disease. Oh yeah, it also provides a bonus over time to like reduce the chance of a disease resulting in death. And we can also continue, because I don't think we need to do any of these things yet, because nothing has happened. So, let's continue. And so far, everyone's looking good, nothing is happening. Oh! Rock the Dwayne Johnson found a $1 bill on the ground. Good for him. So if we were to check supplies, we now have $65. Alright, let's continue. Your group crosses paths with another group consisting of one people. Oh, I forgot to fix that. One people. <laughs> they appear to be neutral. We could attack them, tr trade with them, or ignore. Now the drawback of attacking is that one of our group members can get injured or possibly die, but if we do attack them, we could get a bunch of stuff. Now, uh, I'm not sure if I want to die that early into the game, so let's see if they have any trades that'd be worthwhile. They want to give us one set of clothes for two masks. I don't know about that. We already have enough sets of clothes and masks. If anything, this would hurt us more than it would help us, so I'm gonna reject this deal and continue. Alright, no diseases yet. Oh, we came across a small animal. Uh, sure, let's hunt it for food. We hunted the animal and acquired 31 pounds of food. Nice. Looks like nobody's catching any up. Oh. While nobody was looking, your group got robbed, the following was stolen. 
Dang. I was about to say, surprised you haven't caught any diseases yet, and then we got robbed. <laughs> that is unfortunate. And then Miles Morales loses one of our masks! Come on, dude. Your group crosses paths with another group consisting of three people. They appear to be neutral. Uh, screw it. Let's attack them. Oh, no! The game just... Oh, I have to redo that! No! My recording was going so well! God dang it! Alright, uh, take two. We're back at it again with the same people, same supplies. Uh, hopefully we don't die immediately this time. Well, honestly, I'm pretty happy that we're restarting because I'll be able to showcase more of the diseases because it didn't show up the first time. Because, you know, RNG, this game is heavily based on RNG. And a me- <laughs> On the first day- On the first day- <laughs> Kidney failure is one of the only diseases in the game that is, for sure, instantaneous, so we're going to want to take action immediately. We're also going to want to rest as well. Let's continue. And he recovered! Well, that was quite the start- oh. Uh-oh. Wait, how did they steal zero sets of clothing? <laughs> Our car got heavily damaged, but we were able to use two spare car- Okay, okay. And Miles <laughs> Miles Morales has caught tuberculosis. I think we might need to use some medicine on Miles Morales. There we go. Ooh, five dollar bill. Miles Morales has recovered! Nice! This run is going well so far. Although we are- We're losing a lot of car parts due to our car getting damaged, so uh... Yeah, that's gonna be an issue. If our car takes more damage, Rock the Dwayne Johnson is brain damage. No. I'm pretty sure brain damage is one of the only diseases in this game that cannot be cured by, like, any medicine or bandages. So, or, actually, I don't think we should rest. We gotta keep powering through. Full send or no send? <coughs> okay, yeah, I think, I, yeah, I think we should rest. Uh, yeah, resting is looking a lot more. Yeah, we should definitely rest. Wow, Poggers, good job. Despite the fact that Miles Morales just got hit by a car and Rock the Dwayne Johnson has brain damage, we did surprisingly well at fending off an enemy group. Alright, let's continue. Oh! <gasps> no! Miles Morales! We might as well switch to resting to try to help Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I can't risk losing them both in the same day. Let's go. No! No! It's just me now. <laughs> Let's just continue. Uh-oh. Not the bubonic plague. The tension. Poggers! Uh, nothing is happening. Oh, I know what we'll do. Now nothing's happening, we can change the speed to try to make more distance. Set speed to speed! Ooh. Roadside shop. Yes, I would, because we need more car parts. Now you see why I saved some of the money in the beginning, huh? Car parts is what we needed, I believe. Let's just buy three. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, that's right. We got robs, didn't we? Oh, no. We can't even afford another one. That is so sad. So if our car takes more damage, it's game over. Okay. No! <laughs> that was the run ender. Yup, that is it. Our only hope is if we, like, come across an enemy group and pillage them for car parts. But everyone else is dead but me, so I might just spam Y until... Until the light takes me. Oh. You got hit by a car. That was just as sudden as the car. Ooh, one dollar bill. That's pretty lucky. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> oh no, that is that is not lucky. That is not lucky. That That is game over. We have lost the game. Alright, so we didn't exactly get too far on the other runs. So um, we're going to do one more. But this time... Why don't we give 2020 mode a try? Difficulty set to 2020, if we insist. Now, the difference between 2020 mode and normal mode is that in 2020 mode, the chances of bad things happening are doubled, and you only get half the cash to start. So this is going to be pretty tough. Let's give it a try. Who do we want to join us this time? How about Arnold from the Magic School bus? And for our second, how about Dr. Doofenshmirtz? I definitely spelled that right. Shop sequence, yay! Probably just gonna skip over this because this takes like five years. Oh no. 
This is actually rough. Oh god, this is not looking good. We have like nothing of everything except for the bare essentials. And then just one dollar. <laughs> sure, let's begin. In 2020 mode. This is gonna hurt. Alright, here we go. Oh, good job, Dr. Doofenshmirtza. I did not spell that right. Alright, Ben is good, Arnold from the Magic School Bus is good, and Dr. Doofenshmirtz is good. Nice. And we had a stroke. This could just... Oh, oh my god. I thought I'd have to record another one. <laughs> and Dr. Doofenshmirtz caught tuberculosis. Well, we don't even have any medical stuff. We can't help him. Oh, no. Okay, good. Dr. Doofenshmirtz looking good. Arnold from the Magic School Bus coming in clutch. Again? It's even funnier the second time. Oh, perfect timing. Low on food and we just came across an animal. Let's hunt it. Oh, only 24 pounds of food. But what we can do is change the rations. Subpar. That'll do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Come on, Arnold from the Magic School Bus. He literally... Oh my god, what a nerd. I mean, we could rest. We'd just be setting the inevitable aside. This is 2020 mode. No! Not the bubonic plague! Alright, alright, alright. I guess we have to rest now. We're low on food, I believe. Yeah, that is rough. Alright, you know what we're gonna have to do? Set rations to pathetic! That's not gonna go well. Oh, that was it. Well then, uh, that is my game. Hey guys, just wanted to say thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe. If you didn't enjoy, be sure to dislike and don't subscribe. And uh, if you want to check out the program for yourself, link in the description. Alright, see you guys next video.